Hi everybody, my name is Jana. I wanna to talk today about our channels. So we have many different types of channels that are for our intuition and our clairvoyance. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail about those today because they're very different channels than a certain channel that I wanna talk about today that we all have that allows us to um, actually tune in and feel what's going on in the world. And the thing is, is that these channels are supposed to be turned inward and facing inward within ourselves. But they have the ability to actually turn outward. And when these channels turn outward, you will begin to feel, or whomever is having, whoever has their channels turn outward, will begin to actually feel fear and insecurity and overwhelm and anxiety and feel horrible. Now sometimes these channels can get turned out just a little bit, like 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, sometimes 100%. And when your channels turn 100% outward or when that happens to somebody, it is incredibly, I would say debilitating. It is incredibly stressful, high level, like you've got to probably take me to the emergency room kind of thing. So I'm sharing this with you today because a lot of people have zero idea that we have these particular channels and what to do about it. So I'm going to share with you the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because lately, because, the, uh, because of the amount of collective fear, the stress and everything going on uh, today in this day and age, um, it is of course incredibly stressful and confusing and a lot of people have lost their jobs and I mean there's good reason to, you know, for you to be, um, I would say, stressed and worried and concerned, especially if you're not tuned into yourself and you don't know who you are in this world. It's very, very, very important to do that as well. So back to the channels. So when there's a high level of fear or stress happening in the world, someone might turn their channels outward thinking that it's going to help them feel what's going on in the world. When in actuality, it's not the, I would say it's not the best thing to do. So, okay, so the other day I had somebody reach out to me and it's somebody that I've been working with for many, many years, a beautiful person, and she had texted me to let me know that there was something really gnarly going on with her grandson and he is around 10 or 11 years old. Um, I've worked with their whole family for many years and she said she was super concerned about him, something was wrong. He was incredibly depressed and sad. He wasn't eating. He just looked completely gray and shut down and there was something really wrong. So she reaches out and immediately I said, okay, I need to work on him right away. So as soon as I started working on him, I noticed that his channels were faced outward, about 40 to 50% outward. So I fixed that for him, did a big giant clearing for him, cleared like the fear, anxiety, trauma, some past life stuff for him. And this happened to be just on Saturday afternoon. And then um, the grandmother reached out to the mother on Sunday to check in to see how he was doing. And his mother said it was like a switch that all of a sudden he just turned back on to his normal self and he was vibrant and he was happy and he was so excited. He said, I want to go get a hamburger. So here's the deal. He didn't know that I was working on him. His mother did not know that I was working on him. And they are on the East Coast and I am in California on the West Coast. So all the work that I did was distantly so this is really important. Some people for some reason don't understand this and I guess I do, I understand because I didn't understand it either um, until I learned how to do the work that I do today and I work on people all over the world. I have clients in Europe, in Africa, on the East Coast, um, all over California 
and I work on people distantly. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I have the ability and the capacity to help you. So I just wanted to also share, I don't know why I want to share one more little story about somebody the other day. My, um, I call her my assistant, she is my assistant, but she's an amazing, beautiful, powerful healer within herself. Her name is Sarah Adler, and she and I were working the other day at the park together, and a young man, um, I would say probably in his 30s, came up and said hello and asked us what we were doing, because we were both sitting there and we were doing healing work uh, for distant people. So we were talking and sometimes I move my hands when I work and we use a pendulum when we work. And so he was like, wow, what are you guys doing? It looks very fascinating. So he was very sweet and we had a conversation and he told us that he had been having a very high level of anxiety for several months and uh, a couple more things that were going on. And immediately I looked right at him and I was given the message that his channels were turned partially outward. So I asked, of course, if it was okay and had, you know, turned his, asked for his channels to be turned back inward, cleared a little bit of that anxiety for him. And he was like, oh my God, this is incredible. And it is incredible because he was guided to us because I tell you, there is not very, there are not very many people in the world that actually know about these channels and know how to help somebody and so I just loved that loved that experience because it will change his life I'm sure that he felt better just as the young 10 year old grandson felt better immediately so and again remember this work was done distantly I know it's hard to wrap our head around but it's really beautiful and profound so I just wanted to share that with you. If for any reason you are having a high level of anxiety or something has shifted within you that you weren't experiencing before, I mean, there could be lots and lots of things going on, but uh, the channel thing is something that's really important and I wanna get it out there for other people and for you to know about it um, so that we can help more people in the world feel better and more grounded and not feel that level of anxiety. So just thank you so much for listening. Please share this video if you think it can help somebody. And I just wanna send you all my love, 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 and blessings to you and to everyone in the world. Namaste.